guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 7 of season 2 of Pretty Derby. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Unfortunately, I wish we could have seen it, but no, we just start right as she won. You know, what? I don't think I've ever said this, but we're going to say it now. I feel bad for these horse girls and the itch that they have to deal with. Especially, you know, people talking smack. I get the fact is, yes, you got to talk smack. But, oh, my God, get, you're making her upset. <laughs> oh, my God. That's worse than trolls. Well, no. They're on the same level as trolls and assholes. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> uh, that hurt. It's okay. It happens to everybody. Poor baby. Yeah, I mean, she's hardworking, but I, she just doesn't like when people are, ta are like talking crap about her. Her baby. Oh. 
Why? What? Uh -oh. mm. That's why. I don't know if you can figure out her problem in a whole episode and a solution towards it. <laughs> Up and then. Special, what the hell are you gonna do though? Look at me go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, so that was you!
but she beat her, didn't you? Mm hmm. And you don't want to beat McQueen. <laughs> She's so fucking cute that I can't. You just want to hug her. Mm -hmm. She's so fucking adorable. Oh my god. You gotta feel bad for her though. Yeah, but what can you do though? Mm. Yeah, no kidnapping today. Just talk. You like don't don't be too hard on her. Be a little gentle. Huh? 
Uy! <laughs> She's gonna turn somewhere. You just passed her. Put tail. <laughs> oh, it's just so adorable. In a way. Mm -hmm. mm. Because you're a good rival.
He's so cute! Oh my god! Why the fuck is she so precious? Oh my god, I said anything all about her. I can't. She's so cute and adorable. Oh my god, dude. Oh shit, damn it. I might have to play this game when it comes out. I think at the end of this month or the beginning of next month. I don't know. I don't really remember. A lot of people are asking me if I'm going to play it, and at first I was like, I don't know, but now I might have to play it. <laughs> She's so precious, oh my god. She's so fucking cute. I think between her and this somewhat gato horse girl, and then of course, like, Teo and Spetchan and Shizuka. There's too many best girls that I like in this damn show, like, Jesus Christ. But she's so fucking cute. Like, oh my god, poor precious baby in the situation that she had to deal with. Because, yes, defeating someone like Bourbon is good. But the fact that, you know, majority or all of her fans, you know, felt some type of way. And so that made her feel depressed and everything. And the fact that she's like, I don't want to race anymore because of it. But the fact is that she's not only Bourbon's rival, but a hero at the same time as well. And honestly, I want to see these two race. I mean, Ulf, like, God, I can't. Do you remember the feels we got with McQueen and Teo race, you know, because we're still waiting for part two for these two. That's what I want to see. The feels that I, I, you get to see with certain girls racing against each other because, like, the rival or the friendship or friendship rival, whatever, frenemies-ish like that. Um, it's gay. It's one of the many reasons of why I love this show so much. I mean, I remember like in season one, like this is what I kind of thought season one and really a little bit of season two was going to be about. It was going to be a mixture. They're still like idols in a way, but at the same time, they're not. They still get to sing and dance. I was expecting, I think going into season one, a lot more and also into this season where it was going to be still a mixture of both. And there, there's been, like, only one episode where Teo has sang, and that was episode one before, like, you know, her situation with her leg, ish, and that was it. Like, after that, we haven't really seen an episode where truly, yeah, they're singing and dancing and everything, but I still love it. I mean, I hope that coming, you know, next week, and we see her eventually the next time we do, possibly before the, bef ugh, can't speak, before the end of this series for season two, um... We get to see her raise again. She's just a precious baby girl that needs to be protected. Like, oh my god. I think there's going to be a lot of people that, like, honestly, possibly pick Rice Shower as their best girl specifically because of this episode. Because she's adorable. She's cute. She's shy. I mean, there there are moments where she likes to speak her mind, and I am okay with that. Oof, because I do that too. But she's a little... Precious cinnamon roll, like oh my god, you just want to fucking protect her and all for and shield her from all the assholes who have been talking shit and be like, mm, fuck you. <laughs> but she's just the cutest little thing, like oh my god, I just you know here's hoping we get to see more of her in the up and coming episodes next week or really until the end of the season. But yeah, it was a cute episode. Almost made me tear up, like almost, like Jesus, I was about to cry like halfway through. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> you already, like, this was last weekend. I cried over Pretty Cure too freaking much. And then this comes out Monday. You gonna cry over this too? Possibly, but no. <laughs> 
But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7, this stupid mouse, of season 2 of Pretty Derby. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 8. Bye, guys.